Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the PlayStation controller when playing Jurassic World Evolution 2. So first things first, if you want to move the camera, if you press right on the R stick or left, you see how the camera pans and that's how you turn the camera. If you want to move the camera, L stick. The L stick to move, right stick to rotate. Okay, and then to zoom in, R2 on the controller and then L2 to zoom out. So that's the basic movement that you want. Now to fast forward, pause time and so on, you press on the touchpad, so press it and that comes up right in the middle of the screen and you can press R1 to fast forward or L1 to slow down time or X to pause. Anytime you can press circle to quit out. Now with each facility you just you see how it comes up with an X on it so it's very um, easy to select it you just put your mouse over it I will select that and then you get all the options that are available and then if you want to tab between the different parts of a facility again press R1 and L1 in case it has more options and then when it comes to the ranger teams if you do direct control you see here then to drive the vehicle R2 and to go back L2 in case you want to do things manually now let's see but now I want to pause because there's not much time so basically all the time we can see at the bottom right of the screen what the next task involves so now we need to build a uh, animal enclosure for the carnivorous that's incoming in two minutes so that's why we pause time because we have to build the whole enclosure so in order to access the menu on the right any button on the d-pad any button will we'll get you there and then you press up and down on the d-pad in order to select the menu so for the enclosures there's an enclosure cat category click it then click on fences and what's nice about it is is that there is a sort of snap to grid uh, function so you can only put so much at a time but you see it's, it's easy to keep things straight and it even guides you to say what you need. Now, uh, with time and experience, you'll work out how big of a facility you want to make and so on. But all the time, you're basically just guided with X. So let's close in. Now, for every facility uh, and enclosure, we need to have a gate so that the Ranger team can get in. So again, enclosure, R1. Uh, to select the gate or right basically so now we have a gate simple as that so we've we've moved it in now uh, when it comes to building all the roads every facility needs to be connected to a road um, in order for it to work and allow people to get around and so on and every enclosure needs a ranger post right you don't have to put it right in the middle but it comes up with this circle to cover the range of it so let's assign it like that and then it needs a ranger team assigned to it. So you can either click on the post itself and you see here it says no ranger team assigned. So what you can do is look for your ranger team like that. Press down on the d-pad, add task, and then move over to the ranger outpost you just selected and press X again. And that assigns it to that post. What will happen is automatically is that the rangers will patrol to to each enclosure to see what is needed. Now, for each dinosaur that gets delivered into the game and needs to be taken care of, they will have their own needs and wants. So, for example, let's say this um, animal that's incoming requires a certain type of vegetation. Then, again, we click on the D-pad, go down to environment, and then there's a whole list of options here. So, it will the animal will tell you does it need forest? Does it need ground leaf? Does it need fiber? And so on. So let's, for example, let's just build a forest. Okay. And that's it. So we built a forest. But then let's assume actually there's already a forest in the enclosure we built and we want to take it out. Then again, we can go to the same option, but then we can select this option, remove. And you see, this will then remove anything that's already in there. Um, in case you need to change it with something else. So ideally you want to make the enclosure 
ideal to the wants and needs of the dinosaurs that are going to live in them. So that's the basic controls for PlayStation. So basically, D-pad to select the menu, and with time you'll just learn what you need to select in each of the options. Um, you can control the helicopter as well, and or the ranger with direct control. So like this, for example, with the ranger, you can... If you press R2 with the helicopter, you can fly up, L2 to go down. And when you're tranking, remember that the shot or the guy with the trank gun is on the right side of the helicopter. So make sure it's oriented to face this way, basically, from the right side. Um, and yeah, so basically that's the controls of the game. I will release a hell of a lot more guides um, for the future for the game because I am having a hell of a time at the moment playing it um, I'm going to go through as much as I possibly can and Yeah, so if you have any requests anything else you would like me to explain Then let me know any questions. Just leave it below the video But this was one of the main questions I got from my previous Jurassic World evolution video to explain how the PlayStation control works So I hope that helps you and that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.